control the the lights. I th I've noticed that with the 400i too. They yeah. they've been doing a lot of nice work with the lighting. Uh, it, my latest my latest visit over to Orison. That's kind of where my character, well, the one character I'm doing yeah. the testing. There we go. And 315 live. Uh, the lighting was all changed at August Dunlow Spaceport, so it's like they're doing. Oh, look, they stocked it. Eh. I heard, I saw people. They were stocking up and giving people even beer to get drunk and fly their Redeemer. But oh, it didn't happen God. to me the first time I loaded that. This, in fact, all that stuff back there, mm. the uh, storage crates. Um, yeah, it. This oh. is how it should be in some way, but when you open it. You're reaching through the glass to, to, to reach it, so a little breaking of immersion. Um, these aren't working, but if you look under the wardrobe blocker, there's the storage, and it will open up, and it opens up like external, like an inventory box you can drag stuff to, but there's no box there. You know, it's not the, it doesn't, what's it called? The uh, back shadow or whatever, but you can like, drag stuff to your local or or the vehicle from there but i assume once we go full full on then that's your wardrobe which i assume you can put armor and stuff once you're able to you know they create them so they hang you yeah. have individual lighting under tiny little under cargo here, so. grid that cargo grid's adorable <laughs> yeah it is and it's right near the door it's the logical place to put it and I'm guessing this is the restroom. Yeah. The toilet. Okay. Yeah, everything in one. Uh, on the Carrick, they still have the toilets and the, and the showers in different places. And I was yeah. remarking how that's like a luxury in the modern ships. Yep, it is. So you, you can see each of the beds have their numbers. Tops three, bottoms four, and then their lockers three and four. So these are closest mm -hmm. to the door. So to me, these are your gunner guys. And then one and two would be your forward remote pot, remote uh, gunner, and your pilot would sleep here, since their lockers are right close to here. And yeah. this is the module. So in the future, all this would be gone, and it would be replaced with, say, a vehicle module, or a cargo module, um, okay. you know, something. Now the ramp won't change, so you know you're not going to be getting a cyclone in here. But you know you might be able to get like a, a ranger bike once once they rework it. Or that's what I was thinking, or a ranger, um, and then a troop carrier. You could actually fit here. That would be pretty cool to see uh, seats yeah. all along the sides. So those are some options. Um, the ladder here actually uh, is there's a an airlock, you know that slides and locks. So I assume actually you should be able to lock this eventually so you can open and have people come in. Like if you have a drop ship or whatever, and like, okay, we're taking you, but they can't get up to the rest of the ship, which to me is pretty awesome. So, yeah. And they um, don't have a need because the bathrooms yeah. are here. The showers here that you got the food and everything here. There and there's your, so I That's turn this nice. bed off. I turn this bed on the. What? In, look, they actually have a security camera. Yeah, just like the vanguards. I mean, they My obviously goodness. reused stuff from the vanguards to make this, which makes sense. It's the same manufacturer. So, yeah, this is really slick. So, we are in the in the semi -per permanent part of the Redeemer down here, and this reminds me of the 400i. You got a ramp to get in, and then you got one way to get up to the next level. It, it, not counting the cargo, but I mean. This is a big ship. <laughs> so you can see the armory behind you. It's yeah. basically one long arm for each crew member, not two like you find on other ships. So it's uh, kind of, it's like, well, you have something, but you don't. Um, you have <laughs> plenty of storage. You know, this is set up very similar to the hoplite. And this is the, what the Valkyrie needs, by the way, at the top of the, the ladder. Yeah, uh, inside I agree. the crew area. And who knows when it gets its golden pass, they might do no, that. No, it actually has two lights on either side. <laughs> That's cool. 
I hope our helmets on our armor and stuff start to get, um, you know, like different lights, like ex the utility exploration, get better lights than the military, you know, definitely so start differentiating stuff or track landing gear. Yeah. The gear looks really cool. The ship is, it's pretty okay. amazing. When you go to landing mode, the nutcrackers yeah, close together to allow you to land. Once you put the landing okay. gears up, they open up. And then if you power on, it just looks totally. In fact, if you, uh, the, uh, I wrote down the uh, top speed is only 960. So just so you know. Wow. There's this wonderful command that I have, by the way, um, in my voice attack. Check this out. Ludicrous speed. <laughs> <laughs> so did it just open the VTOL up? Those nutcrackers on the sides, as I think crew called it. I couldn't hear you over the engines, sorry. The engines, was that just when it goes into afterburner, it opens the nutcrackers? and cause It just opened... It it opens the nutcrackers more. Um, so, like, I'm slowing down right now. So it will, it spreads them out, like, a little wider to to do its afterburner. Interesting. Okay, now we're down to, now we're just in cruising mode right now. Is there anything? Hold on. Uh. I'm gonna fire, I'm gonna crack off a couple shots of this front turret. You good with that? What was that? I'm gonna crack off a couple shots on this front turret. Oh yeah, no problem. If it'll let me. <laughs> Should we're out of the zone? Okay, D -D -D there, you powered it up. Yeah. Just don't power it off. You'll kill power to the ship. <laughs> Kind of yeah. weird how they have these things linked. They won't shoot. Man, look at the sun rising. Pretty impressive. All right, hold on. I'm jumping to Point okay. Wayne Emergency Shelter on the sun side. The armor we're wearing we won't last long outside, but... You know, I was just testing that in the live server... Uh, I was outside of New Babbage and it was in the pitch black and I was like, I hope Neville Watt doesn't show up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually, trees. I pulled this, this buyback, um, for the Redeemer out, uh, that I bought at last IAE because the Corsair, I had a Corsair and that I had upgraded with a few war bonds, mostly not because I wanted a Corsair, but because it was a good war bond to get to. And, um, I used some other war bonds to get to in one of my, um, it's a, I have the carrier air pack. It's a, it's a package mm -hmm. with, um, it started with a Polaris, a retaliator, a gladiator, a freelancer miss, and then it had a saber, a super hornet, and a gladius. I wanted the Polaris as a flagship, but all the other stuff besides the freelancer miss, which I I like. It's a nice um, boat. I, That's a nice ship. I didn't want anything, so I kept the Polaris and I kept the freelancer miss. The retaliator, believe it or not, I had a retaliator to Aquila zero ccu that was still sitting in my buyback so um it was the one thing that never disappeared kind of weird um so i applied that to the retaliator so the retaliator became went from 275 to 310 uh to be um to become an aquila and then i had a i bought a 20 dollar war bonds from the aquila to the Banu Merchantman. So I basically paid um, $295 for my 
Banu Merchantman. So that's pretty I'm good. Pr I'm pretty pleased with that. And the other ships in there are a Vulcan. I upgraded the Super Hornet to a Vulcan for the 20 bucks. And I need to get a good screenshot here before I crash. <laughs> um, okay, where is it? Oh, there you are. Deploy landing gear. I don't know if I told you, I only have one full arm, so um, I use voice attack a lot. So That's pretty cool, <laughs> man. That's pretty cool. Like, I mean, I, not, I, that, not that you... It, that, I know, it, that I it know works. what you mean, don't worry. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, I use voice attack and Toby, and both of them really help out a lot. I'm glad to hear that, like, you're able to play, and, and you're not just playing. Like, I didn't even know, until you told me, I did not know that. You were flying Most damn people. good. I, I use a, uh, a Rokot Nith mouse, which has, like, a middle, middle knuckle uh, rudder that I use for my roll control, and it has a 12-button thumb mouse, like a keypad on the side. It's like mm -hmm. an MMO mouse. Yeah, all those buttons. And, you know, your, then your traditional ones. Okay, I'm trying to get a good... Yeah, this is what I want to do. I gotta... This uh... way you can get in the remote turrets and uh, see what their range is while we're landed here. Yeah, I don't know why. The, the remote turret to the left here wouldn't shoot. Maybe this one will. Oh, no, it won't. Not while... If somebody's in the pilot's... Well, I'm not sure. You should. The, is the left one say it's the nose turret? You know what the... I'll do? I'll do the um, the man turrets. How about that? Let me try one of those. Well, no. T try the remote. I want. I'm kind of curious if they disappear off my screen if you take control, or okay. maybe that's not in the game. Maybe they don't know how to take it away. I'm doing but... the. I'll do the front turret for now. Yeah, it's powered that's up. The one I want you to test. Enter remote turret, and I'll shoot away from us so we don't. Bl Blow up the ship. Weapons uh, online. Okay. Oh, I guess. Whoa, I whoa, whoa. Them. It just said weapon. Okay. What's interesting is it when you, whatever you just did, it said weapon systems offline. Okay, I turned them off. Now can you fire it? It says aligning. It's it's doing something. Hang oh, on. it's probably just putting the turret. In. Oh. It seems like you're moving it. But I can't fire it. You can't fire it. Interesting. Yeah. I'm going to try the remote turret. Might be a bug. I mean, the... Um... Uh, try the rear turret. I fired them both myself earlier. You're in my party, so... <laughs> You're obviously... This I like the way this is chair. Turret. Is there any other ship set up to where the chair goes and locks into the forward position? Uh, the six, are the, the are 300 the series that way? I haven't been in my Vanguard, I admit, for a while, but I always thought it faced, you know, it was in the out position. You got in, then it moved forward. So this is the only computer cabinet that you have. Okay. Because I'm wondering if it's different now that I'm out of the seat or if it's just something. The rear, the rear guns are working. I know, I can hear them. They're doing something. Like, the menu isn't showing it, but I'm seeing the animation, and I think it's firing. Okay. I'm not seeing the explosions, though. So. It could be, be laser-based. They are laser. I fired them both, but you're right. I can't fire this. It's not showing I'm firing or anything. Well, that's the beauty of the PTU. I'm glad that they have these available in the PTU, and they're not playing. They Only the streamers can and, and staff can play with them game. Because this yeah, allows us exactly. to test them, you know. See what I mean? It kills the whole ship. <laughs> that is weird. You know something else? I cannot get inside this turret on the floor. So this is the Why? bottom. It won't, like, bring up the menu. I'm holding F around the edges of it. No, no, no. It's the panel on the side. Oh, okay. There you go. That's all right. I had to find out the same thing during my tour. And there you go. See, yeah. now that's kind of cool. I was able to see it from the outside. That's pretty slick. Okay, I'm going to shoot some trees. 
These are definitely shooting. Okay, I size, size five Gatling. I can definitely hear that. Oh my wow. goodness. These are monsters. And they go. They just go and go. Wow. I even like the way they trace. Like, I mean, I know that sounds weird, but they've they've done something to these. Now, I'm gonna well, leave. Well, they're new something. guns, so I only use three hundred rounds. I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna behave. Because <laughs> it has fifteen hundred, right? Yes. I think it is. The interesting thing is, look how I'm parked. You could park this ship and just sitting on the ground with the engines off, have somebody in that turret kind of covering the lower and have a low signature overall. Yeah. Definitely. And I'm I'm sure these size fives will hurt a Nova tank. Oh certainly. I'm popping into the upper turret to see the advantage point there. I suspect the okay. yeah, it's a little tall. I, I'm curious if they're going to set the turret up a little bit in order to keep it. Not, see, now I think that turret is more for anybody attacking from above. Yeah. But the other thing that it is useful for, because uh, I took screenshots and when I videoed it, if you aim both, both turrets to broadside, to left and right, that's that's where your best gun levels are, not front and back. Yeah, that kind of rises up and down. For, for a small target. I mean, if you're firing it, you know, a, an Idris, both turrets can fire forward. But any smaller target, you're going to want to swing left or right and let them fire sideways. Yep. I'm opening up on the side to the right. Yeah, same nice guns. These are just, oh, they're nice. Any rocks and trees shall fear me. <laughs> yeah, it, these are good. Um, like I said, I'm going to behave and not use them too much. Because that is, I mean, that is not infinite ammo for sure. But there's no. a lot in there. Yeah, 1,500. Uh, I forgot. I think the uh, I think the Inferno has, what is it, 2,000 somebody said? Or, it's a pretty high amount. So... So you got your traditional gravity generator and life support here, which don't open. The uh, oh, radar. they didn't do the animation. They just did the lights. For what? What do you mean? These oh, on those. The, yeah. the uh, no, I steampunk choo-choo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yep. Exactly. So yeah, they just do the glowy thing. And I wonder. I'm kind of thinking, with the large shield, you have four quadrants on your ship, which for a ship this size is actually pretty cool um because you can transfer power wherever you're being attacked from mm -hmm. you know um and there's four of these and i wonder if they'll make these some kind of special make them exposed emitters but where they each of these control a quadrant you know maybe something i don't know there might some, just be for the looks there's some care in this because like when i look at these railings and i see these in like they're padded railings yeah like, mm -hmm. thinking through, like, this is a combat ship. Somebody could be running along here, and then they take a hit, or they have to take evasive action, and then they, yeah. they smack their arm or their head or their body on this. That would be a problem. And they want mm -hmm. some extra grip. Like, they've thought this through a little bit. Where yeah, they're, they're getting better and better, Red. <laughs> yeah, they like, really are. that's the thing. Like, I like that. Like, so when you say things like this... Like, oh, maybe they'll make these so each quadrant will be attached to one, so each one of these will be an emitter. And that's a good place to have emitters because you've got nice fat turret sitting up there going, hey, guys, how's it going? <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. pointing right yeah. there and ice on its foreground right there. That would be a good spot. You've already got the things on the outside. It makes and sense. And you've got the control panel things here. So yep. I kind of wonder if you'll be able to tweak your shielding or if these will just be plain old engineering I just find it intriguing that these are here. I yeah. even and you I, notice I like the, the jump fire seats extinguisher? too. That's coming soon. Yeah. He said only on limited ships. Now, what if this is one of the ships that can get a fire? They even did the lighting. Wow. Yeah. This is slick. This is very slick. They. they... But I, I'm thinking about this fire extinguisher. You know that they happen to have one here, and of all the people on the ship, who can get this quick? It's your, it's your number four sitting in the remote turret. Because mm -hmm. this remote turret, remember, they reduced the crew from five to four. Yes. And so this one you're facing. Oh, I can't get in it because it. you're there. No, I'm just, yeah. You were standing there. It would not let me. It actually blocked it. 
but this is the front remote turret. This is this is really an extra passenger seat if you think about it. Mm -hmm. um, and the remote rear remote because the front turret would be a man by the the pilot. It would be slave to the pilot. Yeah, because I I've already fired both. You can use both. So gotcha. Um, so this one, and you weren't able to fire it from here anyway. And no, it might be coded to only the pilot right now till they get that fixed in PT. You know, in PU, yeah. might be something they didn't worry about right now. Um, that that's true. And to be fact, to be honest, to be frank, this seat's necessary. You don't want people to be trapped back here during if this ship starts getting shot at or something. Yeah. You want people to be able to jump on a turret or jump in a pilot seat or, or even a co-pilot seat. I think they had that discussion. It was probably like, look, this ship doesn't have a co-pilot. It's not meant to have a co-pilot. Let's mm -hmm. put an extra remote turret in there or just keep that and keep it simple because nobody wants to spend the fight sitting in this seat or sitting downstairs uh, no. in one of the beds or something. Like To me, that this is the perfect VIP transport. You have a party of four. You can even <laughs> have five if you needed. This is a, a this is for passengers or a quick pickup somewhere because with two large shields and the firepower this has, it, it makes a perfect VIP transport. Not a fast one, but as far as if you're in a in a, a, a war zone or a battle zone, yeah, this is the perfect way to transport people, and. You have this fifth seat. You know, you couldn't go on a long trip. You know, you, you don't have the endurance. But the other thing it's is people I heard complaining, because I, I did a post on Reddit, they're like, you know, why are the passenger seats up here? They need to be near the exit. I'm like, it's not a dropship anymore. This is no. not for, you know, an in-battle dropship because they're like, you have to get out of the seat. You have to climb down. Well, I think that's intentional why they left the weapon rack so small. Mm -hmm. so low because anybody who's sitting up here in the future remember you can't have a, a rifle or anything on your back when you sit in these chairs that's right so, you're just throwing them in here and this is the pilots up there busy doing pilot things and everybody yeah. else is hanging out back here waiting yeah. for the action and occasionally yeah. they're going down this stair they're going down the ladder to go get yep. a drink go go take a shower whatever they need to do you know bump their hygiene up a bit and um uh, I, but I, this module, but if sorry, if, if there is not, but that's what I stop that these grabby ladders, <laughs> um, the, uh, if all this disappears, you still have the full function of what the ship's designed for to be a gunship all up above your You're opponents right. are up there. Your, your stations, your access to turrets, it's all up there. This the is ship was designed perfectly. So. It never loses that. What it does lose is people endurance. You remove this, you have no beds, you have no bathroom, you have no kitchen. Um, yeah. And the one thing you do lose is your wardrobe, which I assume is where you're supposed to put armor. So unfortunately, this would be like flying in a helicopter in Vietnam or modern day. You wouldn't yeah. have armor. You could wear light armor, I suppose, possibly at the most. And you have a place to put your, your long rifle. You know, but you'd have to be wearing what we're wearing right now. And this little bit of cargo doesn't seem like much. It's almost silly. But when you think about it in the future, where it, right now, actually, everything's itemized. Having a, yeah. a proper cargo area, even something this small yeah. that's tall like this, is important. I this could is a double Tana because the Tana has one. This has yeah. two. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. That's, that's how I uh, – the, the Tana is a – perfect militia ship which is what it was designed for because you have these people cruising around they have a place to sleep they have uh, a one scu to keep you know extra whatever or confiscated weapons from their arrest you know whatever in, in that one scu and they have their gun rack and their armor mm -hmm. and you, you have the place for the pilot and the gunner if needed it's got 16 missiles in it for example actually the same as this um so it is kind of like a Tana, Tana bonus. Uh, I think this is short term. This right here is so you can do box missions. So you and your friends can do something between oh, combat. Yeah. Okay. That's the death noise. If you haven't been outside of New Babbage, you'll all learn all about that very soon.
uh, when IAE comes up and you decide to go on adventures with some of the uh, free ships that you're playing with, or your own. Uh, but anyway, um, it's telling me my survival estimate's like an, like an hour because the sun's up. So if you're going to go outside in New Babbage and IAE, it's highly recommended to wait for daytime or fly somewhere that's daytime and fly out. This gives us a chance to check out Mason's uh, Redeemer and really see some of the in-depth stuff. If you look, these look like nice big military class wheels on this thing. And I think that's an interesting choice. This has been something from the beginning with the Redeemer that there was kind of like these these wheels that would come down. I even like the detail on the on the in the braided cables and such. And you can see the back ones too. Kind of reminds me of like a Fallout style tank or 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 air vehicle. I wasn't or sure if you're talking to me or recording. <laughs> I'm kind of doing both. That's why I was holding oh, the comms apologies. open. Oh, you're fine. I was checking out the wheels. Yeah, they they really figured out some. I hated it when they had the little skid things way back when. I'm glad they went back to wheels. And these are beefy. Yeah, I was just saying, it reminded me, like, the back ones especially remind me of, like, a Fallout vehicle, like the Vertibirds or the tanks or something. Oh, the Vertibirds, yeah. Yeah, they... they it's like they, standing next to these size 5s, jeez. Yeah, they really baffle you. And then the size 7s on the... Well, the, the size 7 weapon on the yeah. Inferno or the Ion. You know, you really think about the size of these weapons. It really makes you feel, uh, feel the size scale is incredible. My serial number is Q614941 North America. <laughs> I wonder if that's what the NA, I wonder if everybody, if they have it labeled on where you're from. I never That'd be cool. paid attention. I know you and can you name notice how these are just... escape pods right here for the beds. Man, look at those thrusters. Oh, and here's fuel access. Is there a fuel access hatch on that side? Oh, you came back here. Yeah, I came back over here. Yeah, so here's pods. fuel access. This gear is remotely controlled and may start without warning. But the the danger of this gear label is all the way up there, not back here. I like no, how no. the it's it's talking about the the ejection gear when uh... somebody pulls the <laughs> pulls the switch that boom, you know, it's not controlled from here. It's controlled from somewhere else. So don't think you're safe standing in front of it. That's what I think it means. Yeah, there's access modules here, too. Huh. I keep seeing these little things, like this silver nodule, and there's some up on the wings. I wonder if it's how you grease or charge up the hydraulics or something. Because you see them right there. Well, those might be sensors on actually in, on the end. In oh, battle. the animation. <laughs> come, come stand underneath the... Uh, the uh, I'm gonna go uh, switch to missile mode so you can see how the missile things drop. It's pretty cool. Okay. I remember in Battlefield Vietnam, there was a joke about uh, we need to learn how many things you can fix on an F4 Phantom with a blowtorch, because <laughs> that's how you repair and damage things. Is like you use okay. blowtorches in that that game. You pulled out an old Zippo, and uh, oh. you, you started the blowtorch, and then you just work on stuff. And before that, in like uh, 1942 Battlefield, it was a wrench. So <laughs> now we have multi tools. I think it's the same deal, though. Yeah, it is. Our multi tool can be a torch. So okay. Yeah, it's true. The cutting attachment. They CIG is standing by the fact eventually that will be necessary. Like you're going to need to keep that attachment. Yep. Okay. I, I'm so very happy. I'm going to activate cheap. missile mode. Okay. Yeah, the attachments are like 300 UEC a pop, so I'm really glad about that. Whoa. It's, it's, actually, it's actually very intriguing. Try to get your height up so you're underneath it because it, it doesn't just simply slide and drop. The missiles are actually tucked in the back. And see, this drops and swings back. They swing down at this weird angle. And then slide all the way forward. It's it's very intriguing the way that they decided to to set that up. Can you do it one more time? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you're right. It's like it goes up, down, then forward. 
Yeah, it's a diagonal slide down and then forward while the the door, armored door goes down and swings back. So it's it's very it's very intriguing. I watched it the first time. I, I had to watch it again because I was like, did I just see? Did they not drop down straight? And I'm like, no, they didn't. <laughs> That's crazy. Very That's really cool. Awesome. Yeah, they put a lot of work into this. Holy cow. Those are the cannons. This ship is going to crack some tanks. What? This ship is going to crack some tanks. I can't see what I'm shooting at, though. Because of the angle we're at. Oh, wait. You're shooting up in the sky, I think. The cannons blew up above the trees straight ahead of us on that second hill. <laughs> yeah, the traversal of this turret is not the the, the grandest. I'm just doing my best to Although stay I out of Although I can shoot up pretty decently. But I can't see, like, what I'm shooting. It's 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 not a full... It really is a, a nose... It's like a gimbal mount. It's not a turret mount. I can't shoot sideways, for example. So That's they're trying to limit the pilot being able to just, like, look out to his side and fire. Like I can do on the arrow. <laughs> this is going to be... Those two man turrets is really the main show. But the cat, yeah. the pilot does have those cannons. I mean, yeah. But again, they're fixed. Um, but if yep. you if you go to gimbaled size three along with the nose, you'd have four size three, the same firepower as a saber, but they'd be gimbaled. Yeah. And the um, more and more I'm looking at those shield emitters, the more I like where they're at. Both turrets have a nice angle on those. You know, they're lighting. The way I just turned the lights back on in the upper deck. Yeah. It, it, they flicker in some places, and it's just very cool. Well, now, they of have, course, the 400i yeah. doesn't flicker because it's origin, so. It's got to be the best. That's right. Until you got to go replace the light, then you're going to really regret its origin. <laughs> this, this ship, though, uh, manned by three people, would be effective in combat. Yep. Um, it's just that fourth person that's your tail gunner would be useful uh and also would be the one that would have to take care of um you know fixing things or putting out fires i think without there this module go. it would be a lot less tolerable to be on the ship though over time oh absolutely and and that's that's what i was leading up to is you remove all this all of a sudden it's just a cargo bed you're just you're, you're basically doing a, a valkyrie job where it's like, oh, we don't need to send the Valkyrie because we don't need, need to send a bunch of people and we don't need a vehicle. We just need to give them cargo. Now, how much do you think would fit in here if there was – and oh, you know what? How would the module fit in here? I was – I meant to look from outside. I assume all the warp rope, this would all be empty. Like if you – but you couldn't get this part empty. Because you need the ladder to still get up. I think which... that's right where the module ends. I think this ladder is like this this colored door. Yep. That's code. Right I've, there and I here. fully agree. Which which would allow you two wardrobes, Red. Yep. If 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 the module is from this yellow line here back, so you keep this and obviously you gotta keep this. I wonder That would be nice. I wonder if the kitchen would be removed too. It's it may intriguing. be. It may be this whole because thing. Because I, I was going through um, my subscriber vault, all the the stuff. Um, See this double door real quick? Yeah. There's two doors here. That, yeah. This is the bulkhead for the end of the module. See yeah. how there's two doors? Yeah. The uh, the It's set up the same way in the, the Vanguard, you know, with the module when you come in. So that makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's definitely the end of the module. Um, but yeah, then... yeah, because you're gonna have the ramp in the back. So you replace this, all the ward these these two wardrobes. If you, I don't, that makes sense. That this part would have to stay the same because you always need that access. Do so you keep one and two here? 
um, I'm sitting here pointing in real life, like you can see where I'm pointing. <laughs> um, it's funny, all our habits. The kitchen, though, they might be able to pull this out and put something else in there. Um, in some ways, they could have made a smaller kitchen and put it behind you where the two wardrobes are and put the four wardrobes or, I don't know, you think four would fit there So where the kitchen is? I don't, maybe, maybe, but like play this out. So on, if you're, if you're defending an outpost with this thing, like this thing's mm -hmm. sitting on a pad outside of an outpost and it's, it's only job is to just keep an eye on the outpost. It's a, mm -hmm. something goes bump in the woods, you send this yeah, and boy, okay, do it. you, does this thing really do some work when it gets there? Like, yeah. I could see this not having the beds, not having the kitchen, not having the bathroom, and instead it having a cargo bay down here. Well, if you're at an outpost, you already have all that stuff. Exactly. So, like, for outpost work, I could see this thing just having a cargo area down here, especially if it factors in, like, oh, you can put cargo or you can have a couple motorcycles in there. Go. Did you take it off? No. I, I assure you I didn't take a thing. I got the video to prove it. It doesn't matter if you did. They were, but it's kind of interesting that they are gone. Maybe that's why I came in. It was dark, and I just went up and flew off the pad and stuff. So I'll bet you they just disappear after time. You know, they probably glitched through the bottom. Dang. Just, the, yeah, so I probably see. littered all across Microtech on the way here. Yeah, I didn't somebody, take Somebody I didn't take got any. killed by a bottle of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh let's go into the uh, the shelter, to see if it has sure. any uh, good stuff. Yeah, they all got loot boxes now. Do the shelters too? I was yes, sure. yes they do. Whoa, 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 whoa! Here we go. Here we go. There's nobody here. Nobody no. comes to the shelters except me doing cargo delivery. Whoa! My character ran like really fast and slow all of a sudden. Mine did or yours? Mine. All good. It's a good look. It's a very interesting ship. I, I just decided to splurge because it was coming out. I, I always kind of like. Oh, this is what I wanted to know. See, just working out of an emergency shelter. You got six beds here. Yeah, you could. And you got a medical bed in case somebody gets hurt. Got a gurney. It's something. It's better than nothing. What I don't see, though, is a loot, loot box. box. Remember we were supposed to get missions on this years ago to go to the places and replace the power cell? and Yeah. Those never came in. It's one of power those, tools. It's one of those things that will eventually show up. Yeah, I know. And here's a, here's a bottles stuff. of water and stuff in, and medical bags inside this uh, box that you can't yeah. get into. Yeah. This is the way it's out. That's why I, I, I did melt my RSI Phoenix uh, because of that. I was hoping because to. Because of what? I was hoping to, like, have access to that stuff. But, uh. Um, oh. Well, yeah. those, that's that's uh, patch 316. Remember, we're going to get those passenger missions. Yep. Oh, here's a loot box. Go for it. What's oh, the one rifle I didn't buy? Oh, shoot, but I can't carry it. And what I'm curious about is, can I... Oh, it I, actually has the two weapons I like. What's the interesting... Salvo, frag pistol, and an S71. <gasps> I want that flare gun. Yeah, I know. You see, they never do cool stuff for subscribers. That, that, would, that would, I would love the heck out of a flare gun. Wait a minute. Where is all this stuff going? I'm putting it in personal. It's, I'm not You're, getting... That's weird. Might not have enough space. I can't see what you're seeing. Apparently, it's yeah. No, I I know it doesn't work that way yet. Now I'm getting a loading screen. Ooh, that's this is bizarre. a this is an outfit manager. Wow, for a shelter, that's pretty surprising. They have these 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 systems. These two stations here are outfit managers. I've seen these before on the R and R stations. And they're like, you're supposed to be able to go up to them and you can have like preloaded outfit setups. So you have to have it in your person or in the local inventory. And then you can walk up to these out managers and like it lets you get your stuff out instantly with like one click. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. 
Um, go ahead and... and uh, There's um, nothing in the standard container. There's also nothing there in should, the local. There should be a pistol in that container. Nope. Uh, good old gonna, inventory. <laughs> I'll make it, I'll make sure to clear my inventory. If you go to custom and then hit clear, you can clear your inventory. I don't I don't see it. Okay. It's all good. I still got my shotgun. Oh, you see now it's in there. Yeah, it just took a while. The only thing I couldn't carry in my backpack is this. But I'll put it in my redeemer. See if it lasts. <laughs> yeah, the bag of holding. Rich's Rich's bane of his existence is bags of holding. But that's what I, we have. I've been waiting for this for years. I know some people are freaked out over it. I, it's going to be a huge learning curve, but I think people will calm down. By yeah, the way, I, this is a good use of remote turret back here, where like you couldn't possibly put a human being. Yeah, absolutely. And I like how it it folds back into the body and only comes out when you when you power it up. It's tucked mm -hmm. right up here when you first come out. I it like says that. component access. I'm whoa, curious whoa, whoa, whoa. what the heck's in there. That's what? a lot like a javelin. Javelins do that. Javelin's yes. turret goes all the way to the outside from the inside. Yeah, but it wraps around to the top True. in this True. case. But I like the <laughs> bottom. It covers your whole rear entry. You could have your ramp down. If you got the guy sitting in there, like, hey, cover us. And Good you point. can actually shoot somebody right here. Once they get on the the solid part of the ramp, you you can't aim this high because you're hitting, you know, the ramp or hitting the ship. It'll let you blow off the lower part, but not the upper part. Man, you do your homework. Yeah, what? especially about a brand new ship, you really do your homework. <laughs> oh no, I I do, I I I do. Okay, um, question is, I probably won't be able to climb up the ladder with this, right? <laughs> You'll probably throw it on the ground. No, no one sees you. <laughs> yep, you threw it on the ground. No one said you. Uh, too bad uh, I don't have a tractor beam. You could bring it up to me, but both of us already. Oh, I know. I can pull out the gun I have now. No, no. Not throw it inside on. the um, the gun storage. Yeah, that's I what picked I was it up do. just so you don't lose it. Thanks. And so I can fiddle I'll be back. with it. I'll be back down. <laughs> okay. You know, it's funny. In real life, most guns, the scopes are like as much as the gun. <laughs> This this is a very fancy scope. It reminds me a lot of the aim points. Uh, oh, I can't jump down here. I jump down both the ladder shoot no, and aim the point. elevator shoot in the 400i all the time. Okay. I only I'm use gonna... Gemini products, so. <laughs> I'm going to drop this rifle. Can't you just hand there it? There you go. Me? Did it fall through? Well, let's see if it literally fell through Microtech or if it's outside. <laughs> Sorry about <that. laughs> How would I have handed it to you? That's, that's a question I need I, to that's know. That's what I'm saying. You know, in the future, we should be able to both bring up an inventory slot. You know, I found the rifle. It over. So it is here. Let me get it then. Oh, okay. Uh, well, actually, no. Just, just. You know what? Oh. I'm going to do a test here. I'm going to walk in and throw it in the bag of holding. Okay. Bag of holding. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? I just fell on the ramp, and apparently I'm about to die. I have one hour and 30 minutes to be revived. <laughs> I swear to God, I Where just... Where is my... <laughs> I had a medical gun. I'm tired of these things. <laughs> You're At least you can get the away. rifle. I'm still here. I'm just laying, I think, behind the ramp. <laughs> How do I give it to you? Oh, it says drag body, though. You died? I think if you right-click on me, you can get information about my medical. Oh. If you have a medical gun out. I, I have the med pin. I'm trying to heal you, but you're. it's saying you're a body already. I'm incapacitated, so I'm in that status of if I don't get help within the next hour and 28 minutes, I'll die. Yeah, but what I'm saying is to me, you're not. You're dead because I can't <laughs> heal you. I can loot you, apparently, but I can't. Because my I character, right click. My character is like going. <sighs> 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 
blinking in and out. Like I can see a little bit what's happening in gray scale. It yeah, looks like a I lot when you become a ghost in Phasmophobia. This is lame. So they talked about having it so you can drag bodies onto a ship, take them back to safety yes, on our right. station. But the question is, if you do all that, would it even be worth it? I mean, this is the real existential question. Should I just hold backspace and just grab all my gear and give it back to me when we get back? I mean, like, if, if it uh, even drops. Because I don't even know if it works. That's why I'm, that's why I'm saying that. Oh, you want to record yourself being dragged up the ramp? We're going to try. For science, sure. I just, it doesn't make sense if, oh, shoot, what happened? Am I still dragging you? No. I guess as soon as I stop moving. Okay, fine. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't want to take anything. I want to drag the body. If you did anything, go for it. Uh, get a rifle back. I did get the rifle back. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what the heck happened? Where are you? I think I'm underneath Aren't the you, ramp. You're under the ramp now. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, boy. The way, this is an example of, like, I know they had to physicalize inventory. I know they had yeah. to do it. But this is an example of, like, why it's not the best situation right now not yet they'll get yeah there. they will they will it's just it's gonna be growing pains i think for a lot of You're folks sliding down the hill <laughs> i'm gonna lose <laughs> you at this rate You know, I will give them credit on one thing. I never bothered to copy my account to the PTU, and it just worked. I'll give them credit for that. That's a nice improvement. Well, hello, Indy. Where'd you come from? Um, I can't see the screen, Indy. Hey, kitty. As soon as I hit the lamp, hey, don't step on the keyboard. Okay, where are you now? Okay. Shoot, now you're colliding with, you turned green. I don't know what the heck that was about. I thought you were moving, but I guess it was just the after effect of me dragging and bouncing off collision or something. Oh, it's like you just hit one little bump and it just. Maybe I should turn you over face first. <laughs> this is wonder... great. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> You know, one thing that can kind of help me uh, possibly is find out. That's funny. See, it's like I think I'm not dragging. I move to you and then just pull you by the arm, shoulder, or whatever it is. <laughs> Why is it every time I get you at one point, then you slide down again? <laughs> really should have just nailed it down. I know itemization and physicalization is not it's not a it's not a sexy topic. It doesn't get people in the door, but it does make people feel like they're valued. It does feel like make it feel like uh, existing backers feel like their stuff isn't worthless. Like they should have nailed down the subscriber issue, for example, subscriber and concierge item uh, issue. Uh, they should have nailed that down. They never did. 
Yeah. I so, know. I'm currently so, staring at New Babbage, black screen. I'm waiting to be woken up in the bed. I'm guessing that I'm queued up in the medical facility. Which oh, is I didn't fine. realize my lights were turned on. I forgot I turned them on back a ways when I was messing around earlier. <laughs> and it's lighting up the other, the, the mountains on the other side. Pretty good light, but, but very narrow. Yeah. It doesn't have a very broad... Uh, focused. They're very focused on what's in front. And of course, in this fog, it doesn't help me fly at all. Okay, I just woke up back at New Mavage. And this, yeah, this underscores that's the one like, thing we forgot to do is set your respawn at Tressler. Yeah. But that is one. Well, wait, does Tressler have medical, Dale? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where mine's set. Okay. That is so cool. You put the landing gear up and. Ludicrous speed. Man, it boosts everything. When this thing's on overthrust, you can tell <laughs> it's trying to go. But it's uh it's set top speed is around one hundred and thirty, roughly. Um so its SCM speed is really low. You know, think helicopter. Mm-hmm. I think Indy wants out, and like I said, its top speed is 960. And uh, another thing to to note is that it's uh, starting uh, quantum fuel is only 1166, so wow. it doesn't have, you know, the standard 2500 that a lot of medium ships have. Mm -hmm. So it really makes me think of a helicopter gunship and because its range isn't drastic, but uh, it has, <clears throat> I think somebody said 14 times the hydrogen fuel of a Starfare. So it's designed to loiter, you know, and maneuver in, in whatever zone it's at. Mm -hmm. So I cannot get this dang undersuit stuff to load for the life of me. As I've been talking to you, I didn't realize the ship had rolled over. <laughs> I almost crashed into microtech. But like you said, no, not a big loss. It's PTU. Yeah, it's PTU. It's whatever. And I don't know what they're going to do for when this goes live. If it, they're going to do a full reset again. It's like, okay, we got 10 days worth of, you know, because I assume it will go lot. This will go live thursday so they have enough time to fix any jinx and juice ah, for the iae and for flight for 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 jump week for jump week and such um for the jump events they tend to do uh they tend to put all hands on deck even on the weekends but yeah it, it, they'll give them a little bit of time aside from that usually the weekends are sacred and they don't usually sacrifice them just for you know yeah uh, i yeah I'm dressed like the Stig now. I've got Lamont undersuit or something and the ivory head helmet. <laughs> I'm just pulling random most, stuff up. Most of the ships that... Um, I mean, you have probably practically everything. Is that... Most of the... Yeah. Um, most of them. I don't have the uh, the the Aries series. Uh, I really mm -hmm. should pick up one of those. I think just to kind of fill things out. I'll probably CC you to one during the event. But yeah, honestly, I might not even. I might just rent it. But yes, uh, every, most everything else I pretty much have. Yeah, because I mean, I, most I I've, I've been in every ship uh, except for like a glaive and stuff but i'm not really all interested in any of those things so you want to see like a blade that. i have one of those from the referral program <laughs> oh yeah uh no not really i don't really <laughs> i don't i don't like 
the uh, it, it's probably the goody two shoes in me. I don't like the bad evil alien ones. Oh, okay. I mean, I I'm looking forward to just the good the aliens. Raylan. I have a Talon Shrike and um, the Defender and Banu uh, mm -hmm. Merchant Man. Those those I like. I don't have the Defender. I have the Banu, but def the Banu Merchant Man, but that the loner's the Defender, so it works out. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. I, I I had it at one point, but it was one of the things I got rid of because I was getting the Merchant Man and we get the Defender, so that was back in those days. I'm like, oh, I can melt that. You know, it's just like all these things I'll get as loners in, in the future. The one thing I would like to have, because that loner won't be there forever, even after the ship comes out at one point, right? I mean, yeah. like, uh, the Polaris, uh, I'm kind of curious, uh, is the loner for that going to go from the Vanguard Harbinger to the Scorpius when it comes out? Because they usually try to give you the same manufacturer's fighter you know when possible like origin you get the 325a and you know you get the uh super hornet for the terrapin or the valkyrie that type mm -hmm. they usually try to stick to that type of stuff so yeah i just got my argo cargo uh, loaner and i'll probably turn that into something for this event which is the, honestly i think that's kind of what they're they're leaning towards you know, they give a referral program with an LTI token right before the annual sale. That can't be a coincidence. Yeah. Something that people aren't going to necessarily want to hang on to all the time. So is it yeah. sunshiny over there? Yes. Babbage? That's funny. We came to the sun, the sunset, and I noticed when I'm heading back to Fort Tresler. I'm still getting used to the NPCs leaning on the walls. I just, I just think it's amazing that that this thing has um, a, a, an actual Class A. I honestly do not know of anything that has that stock. Yep. This thing is slow, by the way. And very thinking of a helicopter, that makes perfect sense. This is a stupid question, but do you want to try to fit it in an 890 jump? <laughs> you, yeah, you want to, but you want to come up here first and pull it, right? I guess. Yeah, don't yeah, chew up don't, a lot of Don't come them. up from down there. That's that's not worth it. Target under reticle. I don't know if this will work. Because the Toby, I'm supposed to... I think I have to turn it on, maybe. For the eye tracking? It's supposed to be... A, yeah, but um, they added in 315 or 315.1, whichever, they added that uh, whatever you look at, you can target. So it has eye... It basically, it's tracking targeting. I wish you can see just a little bit more below you. I mean, I can see through the patch, but I mean, not the patch, through the window. It's the first non-anvil ship that actually has a lower window to look down. It's a nice little addition. It's funny, when you, when you stop thrusting, the scissors or nutcrackers come close. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I'm going to land and fuel up and stuff. Somebody brought an entire gurney into the hangar right down here. Uh, it's amazing. They went through all that effort. Can you tell me where my landing bay is? You're saying to go to it. Ah, oh, there we go. I really hate Tressler's landing things because it has that ring right above it and you have to kind of dive through it or around it or you know something <laughs> yeah this is very kind of odd and annoying the you know the the nutcrackers pop it open and closed 
as you're maneuvering, you know, to, to land, but. It reminds me a lot of the Simpsons. I was elected to lead, not to read. And it reminds me a lot of the same thing. I was elected to hover, not to <laughs> land. <laughs> uh. That actually sounds good. Okay, I landed. Well, if you want to do a full recording on this, or maybe we can discuss the future, do a video like that, I'd be willing to do that. Um, sure. I don't know. I'm just kind of recording random bits and pieces of this, and then I can kind of throw them together. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of people want to see the Redeemer and get an idea of what it's like, especially people considering yet another fruit of the moment. That yeah. uh, I, I, But I, I think it I, might jump between 50 and a hundred dollars from where it sits right now yeah especially being flyable and being the new hotness i think the one problem with the uh, redeemer though is that it, it, it's a specialty item like yeah, it's meant uh, yeah, a lot of people need to remember that Toggle doors. The wrong button. I need to fix that. I can manually do it. The toggle doors, I had to create uh, the command for voice command myself. It's the only thing that opens on the whole ship. <laughs> it's like when a redeemer just flew by me. <laughs> it must have just took off kind of funny um but uh yeah the the hundred i remember i first wow 1654 restock oh yeah because you fired all the, the big guns <laughs> i was like what yeah the i did like 300 i think 300 charges on each one good thing i didn't fire any missiles and such you mean it'd be nice to be able to like bring up weapons on the MFD for the ship, but I don't think it shows the turrets. It only shows the pilot guns. Yeah, only shows shows my guns. But it'd be nice, you know, if if it fed that so the pilot kind of knows, like, hey, you know, you're running low on ammo or whatever. Wait a minute, I only have 14 missiles? I should have 16, I thought. I didn't fire any, did I? Maybe I did. By accident. It says I'm all stocked. So maybe those are only 7 each. I didn't count them when we were doing the thing. Let me go to missile mode. And of course, I can't get close enough and the light's horrible. I can't see. You know what? Screw it. I'll worry about it another time. So you, where are you? I right am now? just outside of orbit. I am kicking off cruise control and about to quantum over to Pressler. Oh, there. It got a head tracking. I had to turn around and see you. Yeah, you're 53 kilometers away. Well, I'm all gassed up and ready, so... We uh, use the uh, head tracking a lot when we're shooting machinima and stuff like that. Yeah. I'd like the Toby, because I don't have to connect anything. I already wear wear two prosthetics. I don't need more stuff to worry about strapping to me. Yeah, I feel you on that. Now, if I power down weapons... Yeah, it pulled back the turret underneath. As soon as I turn it on, hmm, I'm going to check something out here real quick. I'll probably end up getting stored in a criminal rating for not doing the right thing. They really, really need to bring persistent hangers fa as fast as possible. It is yeah. ridiculous that they're doing but that. But they have to get persistent things in first, I think. That's yep. probably part of the rust of why they're doing it. Okay, 
so I turn the power off. No, I can't. See, I sat in the, the rear gunner seat. It reminds me of that old video game, Tail Gunner, I used to play in the arcade. Uh, somebody's firing something, and it sounds weird. I just kicked my afterburners on. I didn't shoot anything, though. Oh. On your 890? Or what do you No, need? 400i. Oh, you're in the 400. Yeah, I got the Meridian skin on it at the moment. It's a nice skin. Yeah, I, I, th I think they really did a good job. And I like that I could buy it with store credit. It's kind of like a fight the band moment. <laughs> yeah, I watched, I watched your video. So. Yeah, I was pretty happy with these. That you could buy them outright. Just like everybody trying to fight. Okay, I shut everything off. Okay. Okay, now the turret is staying in place. So that's that's a good thing to know. Uh, it's okay. actually a very good thing. I'm going to take off and try to yeah, find out a good idea. Where, where the 890 bot is, where the docking collars. It's the only thing I have is a hammerhead. So... I yeah, don't uh, use it. Hammerhead's a often. unique position. It's like, it, before armor comes in, it's kind of like a weak creature for what it is. I think they're going to be okay with me. But parking. where are the docking collars on this? I have no where, idea. Have you ever pulled an 890 at Tressler? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. I assume it, it's got to be. For one thing, I'm on the inside ring. It's not going to be in here. I was a stupid. I wasn't realizing where I was. Definitely not going to be there. I'm on the inner rings right now with the 400i, but I'm going to store yeah, this. And... But I, I'm I'm trying to go to where your 890 is going to pop. Yeah, I'm wearing some kind of helmet. Cool. They did such a good job with the 400i. Yeah, they did. I agree. It's it's truly is my favorite ship. It fits everything I want to do. Yeah, they really, really nailed it. Hey, I'm just flying around the station in the outer ring. I assume it's one of these. Because you're not going to make it 890. Oh, it can't be there. Can it? can't be this lower inner ring oh there you are so yeah, you're going to pull up your 890 i am i am i'm heading oh. to the lobby now so i can store the 400i and throw out the 890 oh oh okay you're moving so fast I, you yeah i'm on the elevator, elevator. that's why because <laughs> i'm like what the heck it looked like you were flying around out here the... i wonder if this is it no those are just the normal pads I don't know where they are. It's kind of annoying. Whoa. It's shooting the 400i because I just claimed it. It wouldn't let me retrieve it. Because why? It wouldn't let me store it. Oh. I don't want to get hit with a pad uh, thing. Unless it's PTU. Who cares? Okay. PTU. Docking collar 2. So All it's right. appeared is what you're Docking saying? Docking port 2. I'm going to head towards it now. Funny, we're in the same party. I should be able to see it. Yep. You know, a marker for it. Shouldn't I? Yeah, I see a marker for it. How far is it from you? I'm 300 meters away from it. I'm right near it. 200 meters, okay. 100 meters, well, 150. Okay. I see it now, I think. Is that it? No, don't fire a missile. What the heck? <laughs> you did that inside the armistice? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I got to back off my throttle here. So I'm not maneuvering like a madman. Uh, so docking services, they have 
vending machines. They've got some seating places to look at your ship. Server racks for some reason. And then suit stations, the GSS suit stations. So you can change your clothes over to suits or vice versa. Pretty cool. I see you above it. Yep. And it ain't going to fit. <laughs> Not that no. I thought it would, but. You need to do the good college try. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you might be able to fly it with it attached. Because of the. Okay, I need to do this just good here. I don't know if this is the facing rear or front would be better, but. I can't get through the door. Oh, wait, I did. I just phased through the door to the out. No, never mind. Whatever. I'm on the ship. I don't know how that happened, but sure. I basically just walked through a closed door. Where are the uh, hatches to get in the side? They're at the back, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, let me get to the cockpit. I think it's better if I face the opposite way you won't have good sight view but it's because the engines are in the front and that's where the big part of the triangle of your of your landing pad is so this is great whatever that happens is great <laughs> are you in the bridge yet yeah i am i am gonna go talk to comms and get them uh why is somebody shooting you i'm not I shooting no you idea. there's a there's another redeemer shooting you get out of there I'm going to ram him. As soon as the docking clamps off, I'm going to ram him. My shields were down on the side where they were hitting. But I'm He's still chasing alive. you. He's chasing you. Yep. Random player. So armistice zone doesn't mean anything. No, they'll just get a crime stat, I think, if they do. He's shooting. Um, hmm. I just jumped. No problem. No problem. He's now shooting me. Who is it? Some random player. Uh, I can't spin and look at the same time. I need to get out of here. You should be able to get through the capital shields. They just started charging, though. Oh, well. That's true. I got 20%. Come on. My it won't get me out of here. Sparking. Cancel cruise. Well, Jay. I'm going to. Uh, I, I think I jumped again to OM3. I'm, I'm going to check I'm gonna out spin the it. damage state. The ship blew up. Oh, that's. Make sure you press charges. Yeah, but I mean, how in the world? It wouldn't let me warp. I kept. I kept waiting for it to warp. I got to 100%, and when I held down B, it wouldn't go. And I even gave all the power to engineering, but the shields weren't charged enough. <laughs> Oh, well. Well, I, I got a little little fire underneath the uh, shield generator here. <laughs> or the uh, what we're calling the emitters. There's another one underneath. <laughs> this damage state's actually pretty. <laughs> I got steam shooting out here. Smoke over here. Sparks coming out where the uh, computer goes. I'll have to thank that guy. I'll, I'll post post on there. Say thanks for letting me see the damage state. Appreciate it. He almost made me lose my S seventy one that I picked up. Oh my gosh! I just opened the component room. Apparently, the component room was what takes a lot of hits because it's got the little emergency warning light going off. You know, the little. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do a 
quick recording, damage state, component room, redeemer. Isn't it cool? <laughs> Just a little short video there. But yeah, it's got the little, uh, you know, police strobe light there um, that you're kind of pointing out. It's right, right there. Uh, in fact, I wonder, it's right where the turret is. And I kind of remember the man turrets can be shot off to where yeah. you can. So I'm wondering if it, if it goes off. I wonder if they took my turret off. I don't know. I'm opening up the components to see if anything's going on back here. Things, you know, smoking or on fire. I got sparks coming off the the turret, actually, the turret panel. <laughs> That's pretty That's cool, fair. but the components are all silent. They, uh, gosh, those size three coolers are monstrous. Um, yeah, vehicle, vehicle weapon sizing is insane. Like, people really just don't stop and think about that. None of us do, you know? It's like, mm -hmm. until you really see it in action and see it in its place. But you know what? They're not done with damage state because the the whole passenger area back here, you know, with the four jump seats and stuff, it's still fully lit up. It's not even in the emergency dim thing. There's no red light, no nothing. So they're not fully done with it, which makes sense. It's in I think they need to increase the um, – they need to have a medical upgrade where you can rent uh, like time or whatever so you can wake up in like the normal outfit, not in the goofy uh, medical gown because that's kind of part of the biggest nuisance to die now is like dying and waking up in the medical gown and then you're like, what am I going to wear? Like, I mean that should never be an issue. There should just be the Odyssey flight suit on you. Like just charge, I don't know, 20K for a week or something and – or whatever, 20k for the month or something in UEC, AUEC, and you just, every time you die, you wake up and you're, uh, you're in a flight suit. That would make life a lot easier. Also, yeah, Redeemers are going to be monsters. They're the new, they're the new Hurricane. When the Hurricane came out, it was the same problem.
You know, sometimes I think that's the NPC that's leaning all the time at the same spot. They're the smart one. Wrapped up uh, the flight ops with Mason. Good fun. Good entertainment. I think uh, we learned a lot about the Redeemer. Saw it in action, accidentally. Um, had an 890 jump blow up uh, due to a random Redeemer just firing upon it. Now, to be fair, that was the shields just starting to charge. But still, those are capital class size four shields uh being knocked out by a redeemer and the time it took for me to uh queue up the warp the quantum drive and attempt to go and it glitched out because of course it did when it's needed um and then a few seconds later attempting to start again with the quantum ended up with a uh a uh, loss of the ship so I'd say that these are always lessons that we learn, and these are some ways to test the ships and see. This is in PTU, of course, remember. There's no hard, no, no hard feelings, no nothing. Uh, I ease this way. This is the commons. So if you're coming from the spaceport, it's two, two, uh, two exits. If you're coming from the residences, it is only one. So if you're coming from rent with care or you're coming from the residences, it would be only the, ne it would be the next stop on the route to the commons. I'm going to see if it's there and I'm bringing my Pico with me. This station made you drop to your death in the PTU testing, although I correctly called that this is where the uh, event was going to be. And a couple days beforehand, you can even check the live Reddit uh, post or comments on that video saying, oh, no, it's going to be an Orison. It's going to be an Orison. And I said, uh, that's unlikely. Now, this is my first time viewing the lobby this year. It's the same style lobby as last year, but more, more interesting stuff with these uh, lit ceilings, a little bit different where there was a statue here for Jump Week, for example, and other things. But... Um, Looks like the clothing stores are not full of clothing yet, but usually you can go buy factory uh, clothing and like usually shirts and hats at these locations. And the much coveted flight jacket, if you've ever seen the Jevonica's Jump Week jacket, is usually back here. So hopefully there will be some at least some IAE shirts and hats here. And who knows, maybe some surprises along the way that are all IAE flavored instead of just a random ship manufacturer. I've said before that I really would prefer uh, these be in packages on the website as well. So let's say you can buy it. Let's say an Argo shirt. So an orange shirt with the Argo logo on it with nothing else. Um, and then you also get a copy of that in the, in, on the, um, inside the game. I would have loved to be able to see that. Something where it's like a digital and physical merchandise in, at the same time. And obviously, because it's attributed to your account, even during wipes, you would keep it. But in the past, for IAE, they've had ship manufacturer packages where you could buy a single shirt and hat from a manufacturer or buy every single shirt as a package. And remember, those are white proof. So even if they happen, uh, you would not lose uh, your equipment. Whereas you may if you uh, don't. Sorry, Mr. Pico. But I gotta open the elevator and make sure it doesn't work. Yep, it don't work. <laughs> Let's see if I can grab you before you disappear. You're a good little Pico. <laughs> I was hoping there would be players hanging out here. I've mentioned before, I've really enjoyed the PTUs before the major events. Being able to hang out inside these lobby areas, that's all it is and do like voiceover IP and chat with people and get to know new folks. I've made some of my best friends in game during these time periods. Even I still have envelopes laying on my desk where I scribbled down names because if you make friends in the PTU, they don't translate over. You need to take their name and, and add it to the, uh, to your, to your live account, so to speak, and add them there and they can approve you're being added. Uh, otherwise you lose them forever. But yeah, uh, it's some pretty cool experiences and just hanging out for hours, chatting about the game and where we think things are going to go, what kind of ships for sale. 
trying to look for clues inside these areas. I can remember, I think it was area 18, I think was one of the years. And I was really enjoying the fact that they had like a little Phoenix and we identified the inside of the cabin of a Phoenix and realized that that was going to be a major part of the event was going to be that. Very cool. I think Dare to Fly really applies well to having a, uh, a theory on exploration and competitive nature and being willing to risk yourself. Yeah, I think 2951 is going to be a very exciting year. There's the welcome again. There's the the theme again. So I'm going to skip playing them again. Looks like they're on both sides. But yeah, there's some pretty cool look. Uh, last year, these banners were gold. It was the same style with these huge banners. It was not Dare to Fly. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty cool. And I'm glad to see it back here in a place that's heavily optimized where everybody can enjoy it, even with the, uh, you know, computers that are a bit below range uh, can still enjoy this. And you can see right here, introducing the Ares Starfighter and the Redeemer. If you've watched the rest of this video, we've been well acquainted with the Redeemer, both touring it and in the, uh, <laughs> its combat capabilities. And then the Ares Starfighter is something that I'm hoping to do in a future video and really cover heavily. Uh, so what we're understanding is those Infernos are going to have some reasonable amount of ammunition on them, a few thousand rounds. Whereas the Ion has replenishable ammunition because it uses an energy-based weapon system. So I think that the Ion is going to be probably better for endurance. Well, it will be. But the Inferno is not as weak as I thought it would be. I've been one of the people who have said, well, how big can the ammunition possibly be on such a small ship? It's not a small fighter, but for a fighter. Remember, even a big fighter, that's a small ship in general. Uh, so having that be able to uh, change things a little bit it certainly helps. I'm going to place him where he belongs. Make him one with the... Bring joy to everybody in the uh, Metro Loop. <laughs> so, yeah, one of the nice things about the Microtech area is that they have the Commons. It's a nice shopping center that's well established. Uh, they've been doing a lot of work here. And I would love to cover uh, the changes to Orizin in 315 PTU. However, I already have that in 315 live videos I'm doing um, that, I don't know, I think, I think 20 people have watched it so far, but um, <laughs> I'm going to have that in the cards at the end of this video covering it. I'm kind of having to do two different sets of videos, one of 315.1 PTUs, like this one, uh, covering all the different changes to this, and then in my other video, I'm going to have the 315 live changes that are going to emphasize ores and changes and some of the changes to the medical system and the things right now you need to know for the next few days leading into 315.1. Uh, it is my personal understanding that by 315.1 will be either available during the IAE beginning or during the middle of it. We'll literally launch 315.1. So this is going to be a very short-lived patch cycle. It's, it's quite shocking to me that live is taking uh, such a short roll around that it's going to be 3.15.1 within days of being launched. Let's see if the bartender works.
Did that player just phase through the wall, through through the bartender areas? Exit seat. Did the bartender literally lose track of me just because I walked back for one second and changed my helmet off? Apparently he didn't. Cool. This has got to be a player. Got to be. So you can see the liquor item in the top bottom left, my ABV level is a 2.8%. Um, the drink effects are applied pretty consistently now. I mentioned before, like the whiskey and Coke seemed to be something that was a little more buggy uh, compared to the just straight up beers, uh, but that is not the case anymore. Wow, whole other bar back here. Oh, he's closed. Usually in a retail area, they would not look favorably upon this, where you have a major bar in the middle of this is like the like the anchor store, so to speak, of the entire area, and then another bar goes and opens up a tiny little space. When you have this as your main store, usually this store would have an exclusivity clause in it that would turn around and say, "No, no, no." You can't just start your own bar five feet away from me. In this part of this commercial space, this is the only bar. Wally's bar has exclusivity of this entire biome. So in the other areas, you would have this other bar. It's kind of strange to me that they allowed this and they thought this through. Like the planning of this area would have been this bar right here would have been something. Let me finish this drink. That, um, that would come... This would not be allowed. Even if this was empty, this would not be acceptable to have a separate bar here. Unless it was affiliated with Wally's bar, like it was owned by the same people or something. I just find it very interesting that it literally overlooks its own, a different bar. I know there's an exclusive restaurant up here that's a little different. This Imperial Cuisine place. And then you have Whamburgers over here. I don't know if Whamburgers, Whammers has a, has beers or not, but um, in general, you would have that type of situation where only alcoholic drinks could be served in this primary location, not in the other ones, except for maybe that exclusive cuisine place, which wouldn't be in the same category. You're not going to go to a very expensive a plate restaurant just to avoid going to a bar. It's right near it. So, uh, but anyway, a long story made short, you would put like another bar over in another section, like this healthy eating section with the yoga mats and the running and stuff. I also find it interesting that the Commons has this in the middle. The Commons is kind of a strange place because you have – notice the IAE stuff is literally labeled all over the place, even inside the Commons. But, I mean, when you go past here, these are the surface entrances where you can get in and out by, by truck or Ursa Rover or something or Grey Cat or whatever. And then in here, this area really doesn't make them a lot of money. There's no charge for these fitness equipment things. And, I mean, aside from this person going to be weightlifting in a, in a full three-piece suit or this guy being in, an, in, a, in a dress jacket for some reason, uh, shirt, um, there's, there's not a lot of money to be made. Anybody can do yoga here unless there was planned uh, uh, classes and they charge for those. This is a huge upkeep location, but then you realize like, okay, this is the attraction for these restaurants. 
So you got Twin Sandwiches, Elroy's, which is like a coffee shop slash sandwich shop. You've got a green shop. And these are all attractions. The only surprise would be that there's a little gym over here that doesn't charge. Like, I'm surprised there isn't somebody in a booth right here that swipes a card and you have a small membership fee to be able to go inside the gym. So it's quite a surprise, some of the things on the commons that kind of feel like space holders. But this is not as crazy as you would think as an attraction to get people to come into these places. A lot like a plaza would be to a commercial area. Uh, but still, I still I, th I always found it funny how there's two bars on the other end up near Wally's bar. I find it kind of interesting. Just as much as I find it interesting that, micro t that, that the main store of the entire property, Microtech's factory line, goes down into a, like a bunker-like facility uh, <laughs> below the property. And this is what you would call an anchor store, a true anchor store. This massive property that goes down three stories deep into the ground. Um, and they're the only one who does this. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. Ah, the, uh, the hollow tables have the Microtech logo on them now. It's pretty slick. Okay, so that's where I'm going to kind of leave this one. Good examples of the Redeemers, active action actions, tour of the Redeemer, a very hot item for IAE. In my assessment, it is worth it. I do agree with Mason. It will go up in price. I want to thank Mason for showing off the ship and letting us get a good tour of it and really, really giving it, it once more. Um, I do edit this kind of videos mainly due to having multiple people on board. There, you know, There's pauses and such for different RL things or... Uh, or just kind of organizing things so that if you see rough edits, that's why you see them. And this is 315.1 PTU, the first and only of the PTU so far that we've had launched in the past couple of the past two days. We've had an incredible amount of flurry of, of expansions. I saw somebody post up a joke saying at this rate, we're going to have 3.16 in a week. Uh, that is not the case, but <laughs> it is funny and it is interesting. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed this. This is not my only video I will be doing in PTU, but it is certainly a big part of the PTU lifestyle is kind of adjusting and rapidly changing based on what we see. So I hope you got a kick out of this, and please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to the subscribers who stick around, and please provide me feedback below in public or in private at RedJ hashtag 0001. Thank you again, and fly safe.